My name is Ben Mendelson. I play uh, director Krennic. Um, you can see uh, a little bit of control room uh, behind you. And um, this is kind of uh, his domain. Uh, director Krennic is the prime mover, if you like, behind the Death Star, the creation of the Death Star, overseeing the Death Star. The Death Star is sort of his... Oh, it's his, it's his life, really. It's his project. It's his, it's his everything. When you've got Darth Vader on the playing field, you don't have to worry because no one's taking Darth's spot. Darth, ba Darth Vader is one of the, the great all-time, you know, movie villains or whatever that there will ever be. So you don't have to really stress out about, you know, you, no one's topping Darth, so you can relax and just do what you're there to do. Um, because you got Darth, and when you got Darth, things go okay. People believe in Star Wars, and you know, and people people want to take it. Uh, you you got to give it. You got to give it all that you um, have got, really, in order to. You don't want to leave anything in the tank, and you don't want to you don't want to um, leave wondering, um, you know, was there something else you should have done, or could you have tried this or tried that? You really want to give it everything you can give it, because it is it's Star Wars, and it's very very important in that regard. <clears throat> and there are you know there are a few of um, <clears throat> there are a few series of films that are that are important um but you know star wars is star wars is different star wars is in uh, is in sort of a league of its own no one's happier to be making this film than gareth edwards he is the happiest man uh, among us, um, it's it's more important to him than it just means so much to him. And Gareth is Gareth's able to do incredible um, and really beautiful work um, with uh, with his visuals and his effects stuff. He's a he's brilliant at it. He's really beautiful. It's fantastic stuff. I just think you have a a, a, a guy that um, um, he kind of feels like the luckiest guy in the business, really, in a lot of ways. This is kind of a cheeky robot, if you like. I mean, he's a pretty cheeky robot. That is. Um, uh, he's a robot with quite a dry sense of wit. Uh, look, personally, I find the guy kind of funny. Uh, but, you know, professionally speaking, I, I think they've wasted their time. I mean, you know, that they have just corrupted a perfectly good droid and gone, you know, I, I, I don't know what sort of tampering they've done with it. I think Jin is a fantastic, um, fantastic character, and um, the the world I think is a luckier place for having Felicity do it. I, I think she's uh, an actress of um, uh, you know, incredible strength and ability, um, and I think Jin is really look. It's Jin's story. This film is really about what Jin has to go through and get done. And Jin's the only person that can do this in the way that she does. She's crucial. Did you know that Eddie Redmayne attended Eton College where he had classes with Prince William? 
Eddie is also good friends with Benedict Cumberbatch. Both actors have portrayed Professor Hawking in different productions, Cumberbatch in Hawking and Redmayne in The Theory of Everything. Click here for more cool videos. Bye!